Coming to America is a life-changing decision that many Filipinos make on a yearly basis. They pack up all of their belongings and they come to the United States in hopes of sharing in the American dream. Home is where it all starts. It's everyone's Pinag Milan. And this is the show that unites Filipinos here in the United States with their loved ones in the Philippines. Hi everybody, I'm Mike Ingona. Welcome to Pinag Milan, a journey home. To many Filipinos who come here as tourists and decide to stay, reality can be pretty harsh and bitter. Such was the case for Carol, a young woman from Cardona Rizal. She gave up everything she owned in the Philippines to come here and live as a TNT, all was running, all was hiding. She battled adversity for 13 years and persevered. Today we hear her story, her journey back, her Pinagula. Daly City, California, home to the largest concentration of Filipinos outside of the Philippines. The noise has been flocking to the city since the 1970s, and for many good reasons. It's just 15 minutes away from beautiful San Francisco, there are many jobs available, and the Baguio-like weather is pleasant all year round. And of course, to top it off, your friends and family are always literally just around the corner. Filipinos have given this once quiet bedroom community a truly vibrant edge and a distinctly Pinoy flavor. And I know that there are thousands of our Capamilia out there that have a Pinag Milan story to share, just like Carol's. Ako si Carol Patawaran Guevara, Tugong Cardona Rizal, and ngayon nandito na sa Daily City, California. Kasama ko mga kapatid ko, magulang ko, and of course my baby. May gusto ko, bili mo ko. Shopping mo ko. Lita ka? Tara na nga! Kahit galit siya, bibili pa rin niya ako. Oh, she would always like, take me shopping with her. Shopping pag may pera. Pag walang pera, di wala. And usually she would just treat me out. Um, you know, buy me stuff. Hindi pa siya ng mga bata sa... So, sinashopping niya, tapos nato na sa Chuck E. Cheese. Ako, ang... Mayat maya eh, may kinakain. Kung saan saan sila nakapunta? Sa in and out. <laughs> Minsan gisingin ko ang anak. Dika, let's go, in and out. Okay, mami, let's go. Punta kami dalawa, kakain kami. Ganyan kami. Ganyan ako, may hindi talaga akong kumain. Pag laki ni Carol, parang din ang umiro lang, mabayit, mabata. Kaya masunurin sa mga magulang. I think I just remember her taking care of just babysitting me at home. Pag kailangan ko ng 
Baka kasama makakatulong ng dyan kagad siya. Kung mayroon kami kailangan sa kanya, sa tumutulong sa akin, basta ng mga bata mo. Oo, ayun. Kaya alam ko may siya, may sumpong. Nung mga wala ako sa trabaho, eh, nahanap nila ako. Wala rin ako. Kasi ako naman laging magulo rin kasi. Para daw ako magpapala. Sabi nila. Talaga may hiling huwag lapatsyo. Yan ang nabuhan sa akin. May hiling huwag lapatsyo. Siyempre, nung nagkakaedad na, eh, medyo ako gusto, eh, di gusto na. Pag ginusto ko, ginagawa ko. Pinaghihirapan ko. Carol is now living the American dream in Daly City, but the path was far from simple and painless. It was in New York City that Carol first had her taste of America after leaving the Philippines as a tourist in 1993. Yung pagpasok pa lang niya ng New York, siya binaksak para mas madali daw yung interview. Tapos pagdating doon, wala pang pumikap sa kanya, wala mga kamag-anak na pumikap sa kanya doon. Nakituloy pa siya sa isang kasabay niya sa airplane. No, ito na ako, nagpapanik na ako. But then, yung na-meet ko sa airplane, then sabi ko sa kanya, um, baka naman pwedeng pakisabihin mo naman sa tita mo, mag-stay lang ako for one night. Then, tawag na lang ako yung mami ko kasi wala yung sundo ko. How long did you end up staying in New York for? One night lang. So, then, yun, the next stop was where? Uh, dito na, San Francisco na. Carol never took the flight back to Manila. She decided to become one of the tens of thousands of Pinoys who overstay their welcome here in the United States. She became a TNT, a Pinoy who's tago ng tago. Nung una, uh, medyo gusto ko pa rin namang umuwi, but um, nung magstay na ako rito, sabi ko, dito na lang siguro talaga ako kasi mas hirap ang buhay sa atin eh. Okay. Compare dito, kahit pa paano. Do alam ko magti-TNT ako. Were you scared at all? What was it like to be a TNT in uh, Daily City? Mahirap. Siguro kaya dumating kami rin sa point na sasaktan ako. In 1996, Carol decided to get married. As the wife of an American citizen, she could easily be petitioned and within a few months, probably get her green card. But unfortunately, it didn't work out that way. Ang sabi niya sa akin, baka araw pag pinitisyon niya ako, iwanan ko siya. Parang inisip lang niya, siguro gagamitin ko lang siya para magkaroon ng green card. And then, then one time na nag-away kami dalawa, nakita ko yung plastic bag ko, pinaglalagay ng mga papers ko, nakita ko na, na may gumalaw. And then sabi, sabi ko, parang tinanong ko siya, sabi ko, um, anong kinuha mo sa lagayan ko? Sinabi niya, naharap raw niya yung passport ko para ipapadeport niya ako. Carol suffered through her husband's abuse and neglect for four years before she even decided to do anything about it. Like any TNT, Carol would never feel at ease. Always running scared, watching her back at all times, afraid of getting caught by the authorities. And then imagine na may may kakatok sa loob, na, you know, may kakatok sa bahay mo, na, you know, hindi mo kilala yung tao. Tatalong ka sa bintana, na hindi mo alam. Kahit dito, pag nandito ako sa mga mami ko, pag may kumatok, sisilipin mo na namin kung sino. You know, to, what did it take to, 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 to have the courage to actually leave after he had made those threats to you? <laughs> Walang nangyayari sa buhay ko. Nagkakasakitan pa kaming pareho. So parang, nung malaman ko nasa Idaho yung pinsan ko. That's when I decided punta ako ng Idaho. Now, why Idaho? Sa loob ng base, pag may dumalaw sa'yo, hindi nila papapasok na rin less tawag sa'yo na sabihin sa'yo na okay. And then, um, nung umuwi ako rito, that's when I decided nga na mag-file ng divorce. Are you staying with your family or where are you staying at this point? Nag-stay ako rito mga two months kasi nag- Um, that was December, umuwi yung mga kapatid ko sa Philippines. And then, yung time na may nagtanong sa akin na gusto ko magtrabaho na under the table. And then, ayaw ng mami ko. Actually, sabihin na matigas ang ulo ko, pero waitressing sa isang bar, parang, alam mo na mga Pilipino eh, parang hindi magandang tignan. Pero sabi ko nga nun, kung hindi ko gagawin yan, paano ko makasusurvive? When Pinag Milan returns, Carol finally finds salvation in a twinkle of an eye. What does it take to finally come home again? This is your Pinag Milan, and we urge you to take that journey. Write to us and tell us why you haven't been back to the Philippines in years, but now feel the need to make that trip back home. Email us at pinagmulan at abs-cbni.com or send your life story to Pinag Mulan, The Journey Home, ABS CBN International, 150 Shoreline Drive, Redwood Shores, California, 94065.
Welcome back to Pinag Bilan, the journey home. Carol finally divorced her husband after suffering for four long years. But it wasn't long before she met another man. But this time, somebody makes good on a promise. Doon sa pinagtatrabuhan ko sa gabi, nag-waitress di pa ako. And then, um, ito yung isang grupo ng, you know, customers pumasok. Pero, he's a tall guy, 6'1". Look at the twinkle in her eyes. Yeah. Nung makita ko yun, whoa. Parang ganun. <laughs> Pogi, Miss Tiso, Miss Tiso looking talaga ng naiba sa kagaya mo, Miss Tiso looking guapo, yung ganyan. And then, lagi na siyang bumabalik roon. Hanggang sa in-introduce na kami together, you know, ganyan. And then that's when it started. How long was the courtship? Madali lang. Really? Siguro kasi we fell in love. So, we moved in together, but um, wala yung iniisip ko yung ayusin niya pagkul ko or hindi. But, he was the one who asked me na magpakasal. That's great. So parang okay, sige. And then pagkagaling namin ng, ng Reno, so Reno kami kasi nagpakasal, and then sabi niya sa akin, maghanap ka ng lawyer. Ayusin natin, papil mo. Then doon ako talaga nagkaroon ng pag-asa na meron talaga palang tutulong pa sa akin. And I'm very, very thankful. Hanggang ngayon, great. sa kanya lagi ko sinasabi sa kanya, thank you. That's kasi great. Yan, yeah. And when did the... Uh, when was Twinkle born? Um, September 2001. Tell us what that was like. Oh my God. Uh, anak ang buhay ko. parang kagawin ko lahat para sa anak ko. Yan nga nung una, parang kahit hindi na dumating yung green card ko, is okay as long nandiyan ang anak ko. As long nakakatrabaho ko ng legal, is okay. Mm -hmm. eh, ang do, ang anak ko lang ang nagiging strength ko. So she's been a real great source of, of joy to you. Oo, oo. So, the second husband made good on a promise. He, he, uh, he said he was going to petition you or, or marry you, and, um, and that actually happened. You ended up getting your green card, didn't you? Yeah. Tell us about that. What was that, what was that day like? Actually, I started to wait for the grade when I got a letter from the immigration. I didn't even read it, but I didn't understand it. It was like that. Because... Natakot ako nung makita ko eh. Parang sabi ko, ano ba to? Hindi ko, hindi ko inaasahan ko nung, hindi ko alam kung ano yung nasa loob. But it says something then na parang padating ng araw. And then, pag akit ko rito, kinuha ko yung mail, nakita ko, galing na naman sa immigration. Tapos, pero kinapa ko na talaga. Ano ko, nung kinapa ko talaga, hindi ko, sinira ko na agad yung ano, tapos nagsisigaw ko nung nagsisigaw. Naguhit sila rito, ano na kung nangyayari sa akin. Hi! Sabi niya, biglang lumundag. Tayo ako, karoon na pano ka na pano. Kasi yung bagsak niya, akala ko, nadulas. Sabi ko, my God, my God, eto na, eto na, eto na, eto na talaga. Parang hindi pa rin ako maniwala talaga. Tito Sally, Tito Sally, sabi niya, nandito na ang green card ko, sabay yakap sa akin. So, gusto talaga, una nga lang, nga lang, itapag ko sa noo ko. You know, parang, eto na, meron na, may green card na ako. Yung mga ganon. You were here for, what, 12 years without ever going back to the Philippines. Now, who is it, who do you miss the most back there? Oh, yung sister ko. May. Younger or older? Yeah. Sumunod sa akin. Mas sa akin. Yeah. And you were very close to her before you left, huh? Oh, yeah. Kasi magkasunod kami dalawa. Eh. And then, um, maraming nangyari na hindi ako, wala akong, hindi ako naka-uwi. Nung mamatay yung pamangkin ko babae. Napakahirap. Yung ganun. And then, mamatay yung husband niya. Tinawagan ko sa cellphone na sigaw siya ng sigaw ng ate, pero wala akong magawa. So you couldn't be there for her? You couldn't be a source of strength for her? I'm sure you supported as much as you could on the phone. Now, are you, are you helping to support her now? Oh yeah, kasi si wala namang matay yung lalaki. Wala nang yung husband niya. Parang wala nang pinagagal, wala nang pinagkukunan. So, parang para lahat na lang kami nagtumutulong sa kanya. And of course, the in-laws. How long ago did he die? My father-in-law, three years ago. Has she been working at all since then? 
hindi wala pa hindi siya nagtrabaho. Wala. Kasi wala talaga. Yo, kasi hindi naman namin akalain na big na mamamatay ang mayo ko. Kasi for 13 years, hindi sila nagtatrabaho sa bahay lang sila. So wala siyang anong pangkabuhayan. Eh, financially, siyempre, padadalan mo ng gastos. Padadalan rin ng biyanan niya ng pampara sa anak. Amin ang allowance, sa amin ang pagkain. Ayun, magbibigay na. Parang nagbibigay kami na sa mami. Tapos papadalan niya sa atin. Eh. Kung kahit magkano na iabot na, aabot kami sa kapatid ko. Eh kasi gusto kong maginapaman sila for themselves. Mag, Mag-improve sila sa buhay nila. Basta I don't show them na ako yung nag- I was trying to hide everything. Ayaw ko makikita na. Kasi imagine mo, apat yung anak nun. Kaya parang kahit pa paano, gusto ko siyang matulungan. Mag, you know, mabalik yung pride and respect ng sarili niya. Magkaroon siya ng, you know, pagkakitaan. Para kahit pa paano, pag kumula mo mapadala, at least meron pinagkukunan. Well, you've been helping out all these years and, and you know, as a result of that, uh, um, those of us in the show decided to give you your ticket to visit your sister May in the Philippines. Segurado. Oh my God! Thank you. After giving her the ticket and 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 seeing her reaction, I'm sure that what's going through her mind is, I, I'm hoping that things haven't changed that much. I'm hoping that. Uh, that uh, the situation isn't as bad as I think it is, and, and that uh, that her being there um, will be able to alleviate some of the pressures on, on May. I'm sure that what's going through her mind is, is that she's this anticipation, there's excitement. I'm sure she's grateful to, to us and the show for, for being able to go there. And um, I can't think of anything else other than if it was me, I'd just be counting the days of when I was gonna leave. What does it take to finally come home again? This is your Pinag Milan and we urge you to take that journey. Write to us and tell us why you haven't been back to the Philippines in years, but now feel the need to make that trip back home. Email us at pinagmulan at abs-cbni.com or send your life story to Pinag Mulan, Journey Home, ABS CBN International, 150 Shoreline Drive, Redwood Shores, California, 94065. After 12 long and hard years, Carol finally makes it back home to Manila. I'm not stone pala kanina sa namin lang welcome to one. International Airport. Ano na ako? I don't know, hindi ko ma-explain yung feeling. This is Carol's hometown of Cardona Rizal. It's about an hour and a half's drive southeast of Metro Manila. You may be more familiar with the surrounding towns of Pinangonan, Angono, and Taytay. But Cardona has its own beauty and rich history. At the heart of the quiet pastoral town is La Torre, or the tower built in the 1850s. It houses the bells whose sounds everyone is familiar with. Cardona is likewise blessed by the waters of Laguna de Bay, and the town's gratitude is evident on the ready smiles of the friendly residents of Cardona.
only member of Carol's immediate family still living in the Philippines is her sister May. They haven't seen each other since 1993, and Carol's on her way to May's house right now in Cardona Rizal. But here's the plan. May doesn't know that Carol's actually in Manila. We've told her to gather her friends at the house so they could talk to Carol live via satellite. Everybody orient themselves to the camera and make sure that, the, you know, and when you're talking, pre I mean, pretend like she's right there. I mean, you, you, you know, don't look at the screen to talk to her. Look at that to talk to her because what she's going to see is another television set where she's at. So if you're addressing her, if she's talking to you, man, look there. So everything will be cool. It's going to be great. And remember, energy, folks, energy. But later, Carol actually shows up in person and surprises everybody. I don't know. I Mabuti siyang kaibigan sa akin. Kung ano yung gusto niya sabihin, ang sabi niya. Tapos, switch siya. Wala pang atis. Kung may atis, bibili ako na isang kaeng. Namimiss ko yun. Wala nang iba? Ano to? Magkano to? 60 o dyan dito eh. What do you mean 60? Um, isang, isang per kilo? Um, matamis ba? Ito yung dalandan, di ba? Matamis, matamis ba ito? Wala lang. Oh, this dalang mita? Matamis ba? Sigurado ka. Pabilan mo ako. Pabili mo ako. Magkano? Ha? Oh. 230? Hold on, okay? Magpapalito ako kanina yun. Let me... That's 200. Here. You can keep the things. It's okay. Anak, eh, I'm sorry, but it's okay. It's okay, Dar. It's okay, Dar. What, what's that? Ano to? Oh, 10 pesos? 10 piso. Okay. Ngayon lang ako nakakita ng ganito. But it's okay. Here, you can have it. Salamat. Oh, wala pa five dollars yan si. Masaya na ako with bagoong mama ya. In those years that 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 Carol has been there since 1993, have you had much contact with her? How? Yeah, uh, through phone. It's in those uh, years that she was there. Did she tell you what her life was like? Yes. What did she tell you? Yung sa relationship niya, nagsabi siya sa akin, may nakalibin siya. Sinasabi ni Mena, hindi nga makauwi si ate kasi ano, uh, may problema pa. Hindi pa naayos yung papers niya. Nalungkot ako, malamo ako yun. Kasi yung hirap na pinagdadaanan niya kasi hindi siya makapagtrabaho ng maayos. Tapos battered woman siya ng time na yun. Okay, hindi ko na alam tong lugar na to. Doon naririnig ko kung ano yung lugar na to. Hindi ko na siya talaga inabutan. Ito, ito ang gusto ko mapuntahan uli. Gusto ko siyang mapuntahan. One time, maghahanap ako ng yung may-ari ng ganyan. Gusto ko siya, gusto ko uli siyang maranasan. In a few minutes, papunta na ako sa bahay. Hindi na ako makaintay talaga para makita ang kapatid ko, para ma-surprise sila. Hindi ko alam po. Kinakabahan ako na naninigas ang tuhod ko na para ako magkukulaps. I don't know. Baka nga bigla nalang ako magkulaps mamaya. <laughs> Sa ah, hindi, ko, hindi takot, pero you know, excited kasi ako. Oh, wow. Sandali na lang, sandali na lang, sandaling-sandali na lang. Now, you're uh, 
a single parent, right? Yes. Okay. Um, you, you had your husband uh, passed away how many years ago? Three years. Well, what's the last three years been like without him? Sure, my Simula nung mawala na iba na yung buhay namin. Pagising mo, kami-kami na lang ng mga bata. Pagpasok ko sa kwarto, kami na lang ang magkakasama. Mahirap. You also experienced another loss. Yes. Tell us about it. Si Chin uh, Chin. Yung anak ko. Nagkasakit siya. Nagkasakit siya ng leukemia. Nung no, umalis ang ate ko, 1993. Nasa hospital kami noon. Nagpunta siya sa hospital, sabi niya. May alis na ako, sabi ko. Bakit hindi mo sinabi ako? Sabi niya, tumawag na yung ano ko, ahente ko, alis na ako. Ingat na lang kayo, alagaan mo yung bata. 1993 yun. Uh, hindi ko matandal parang November. April of 1994, nang mamatay ang anak ko. Nang tumawag, sinabi ko sa kanila, iyak nang iyak ang ate ko kasi hindi siya makauwi. Iyak siya nang iyak. Everyone's all set and excited about the big interview. What these people don't realize is, Carol's just around the corner, getting ready to pop in and surprise everyone. Next, Carol's homecoming comes as a shock. Pumasok ako ng studio, papatayin ko na ang cellphone ko. 
ano nga gagawin ko? Hindi ako matulog. Ano nga gagawin ko? Basta relax ka na. <laughs> Yung pala, pumapasok na siya ng aeroplano. Has he changed much in, in, in the years? Yes. <laughs> okay, tell Pay, us. Pa, How much has he changed? siya talaga, no? Di ba? That was like 98 pounds. Payat siya. Papumuti ka na. Maputi na Maitin talaga sa school. Oh, this is very maputi. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Pag maputi talaga sa school. All right. Now, you. What surprised you the most about about Bay or about this situation? Yung pumasok ko na. Gusto ko sabihin, bakit ka nakamangan? Hello, hello, hello. Here. It's been 10 years. Uh, yeah. Tinignan muna niya ako na matagal bago siya tumayo. Yeah. She's got uh, all these children here. You're from Akins. Uh, do any of them take on any of the traits of Bay? Yung dalawang bata. We've had the big reunion. You've been away for 12 years. Have you uh, made any promises to each other? Sinabi ko nung... Kung matay yung brother yung loko, sinabi ko sa kanya na ako. I'll do my best na matulungan siya, pero may time na naging nag-down rin ako na parang hindi ako nakakapagpadala. Na nagagalit siya sa akin dahil hindi ako nagpapadal ng pera. Pero sinabi ko na gagawa, gagawa ko ng parang para makapunta siya ng Amerika. So that's your, your, your dream is for her to come? So sabi ko lang, tes, konting tes, konting tes. Gagawa tayo ng parang ng Islam. So tell me, it's not going to be another 13 years before you see each other again. Come on. Oh no, I'm going on. back on December. Good, good. I'm amazed about one thing, and that is this. That no matter what happened in both of your lives, neither one of you ever lost hope that you'd see each other. I thought that for sure that it would be like that. And so, I'm glad that, it, that, that you never lost that hope. Now, Carol, we were back in, in uh, Daly City. We were talking about, uh, about, about May and what her life is like. We all know that life is tough here in Cardona. We know that it was especially tough for her, and that you talked about um, wanting to, to to help your sister in some way, and wanting to, to sustain her, and wanting to, to give her something that would sustain her here. So, um, the, the people here at uh, Milan would, would like to uh, show you a little something that we've got. And so, if you follow me outside, um, we'll show it to you. make Carol's wish for May come true. Pinagmulan partnered with the good people of Filman Motors Corporation for the Pioneer Matador Motorcycle and Scoot Bike, the scooter company. So we'd like to thank them for, for this and give them a round of applause.
What does it take to finally come home again? This is your Pinag Milan, and we urge you to take that journey. Write to us and tell us why you haven't been back to the Philippines in years, but now feel the need to make that trip back home. Email us at pinagmulan at abs-cbni.com or send your life story to Pinag Mulan, The Journey Home, ABS-CBN International, 150 Shoreline Drive, Redwood Shores, California, 94065. You know, the one thing that I saw that, 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 uh, that affected me the most was that when we were in here, this anticipation was in the air. And, uh, you know, it was a ruse that we were doing. And we finally had her come through the door. And the, re the reaction from everybody else was shock and amazement and surprise. We look at May, and May was speechless. I don't think she's actually grasped the reality of the fact that she's had, you know, she's seen her, her sister after all these years. I was given an opportunity to, to put people together that haven't seen each other in a long time. I feel blessed. I feel lucky that they've let us into their into their lives. We've invested all of a lot of our time, and a lot of us have come here in order to, to make this thing work. But uh, the payoff is something that you can't quantify in money. Those two girls are a testament to perseverance and overcoming adversity. Nandito na ako. I'm home after 12 years. Hindi ko mapalawana kung gaano kasaya ako na ngayon nandito na ako. Alam kong kahit paano may na-accomplish ako, do pag minsan iniisip ko na parang ngayon pa lang nagsisimula ang buhay ko sa Amerika. I'm happy dahil natulungan ko ang kapatid ko. And um, sana doon sa mga kapwa ako Pilipino maging matatag lang. Stays lang. Pray. Makukuha at makukuha niyo kung ano yung gusto niyo. Sabi nga nila, nasa Diyos ang awa, nasa taong gawa, and you can do it too. Ganang nagawa ko. And um, I would like to say thank you sa pinagmulan, sa lahat, sa lahat ng tulong, sa kapatid ko, sa akin, and to, to everybody. Maraming maraming salamat po. This is Carol's journey home. Thanks for being with us. This is Mike Ingona from Cardona Rizal, urging you to take that journey home to rediscover your Pinag Mulan.
Ligay ang pagbati sa mga nanonood ng The Filipino Channel. Inaanyayahan ko kayo manood ng pinagmulan na Journey Home. Ito ay nagsasaad ng tunay na buhay ng mga Pilipino na matagal na ang nawalay sa ilang bayan at muling nananabik na makita ang ating bansa. Noong napanood ko ang pinagmulan, ako ay masaya at nalungkot. At ito ay nagsasaad ng tunay na buhay ng ating mga kababayan sa buong mundo. This program is in line with the Philippine Department of Tourism's new campaign, The Grand Homecoming. In this slide, I'd like also to invite you to visit our country, the Philippines. Sama-sama tayong manood ng pinagmulan, The Journey Home. Maraming salamat po. Kamusta mga kababayan at ang ating minamahal na subscribers ng TFC? Ako po ay nandito para paalam sa inyo na may napakagandang programa na dadating po sa TFC. I had the wonderful opportunity to see the first episode of Pinagmulan, a wonderful new series about actually our story, your story, and all of those who have come to the United States uh, many, many years ago and who have not had the opportunity to return home. And mga kababayan, returning home is really a wonderful story. Ito po ay tatawa po tayo at iiyak dahil sa napaganda po ng story nitong bagong episode na ito. Kaya alam ko po na tayo magugustuhan po natin lahat itong show na to at tayo manunood na madalas dahil ito po ang storya nating lahat. Mabuhay po kayo at maraming salamat po. <music>